Hello, I'm going out for dinner tonight and I thought I'm getting ready. Maybe we could get ready together. It's not going to be anything super fancy, but it'll maybe just be a wee relaxing, get ready, enjoy ourselves, have a wee chat about what's been going on. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, so you'll know because you've already seen it. I really want to use this purple, like even as like a even as like a tiny little shimmer, like in here, and then do something kind of like smoked out on the side. So that's what I'm aiming for. I think I'm going to do kind of like a wing with eyeshadow. That's my thoughts. Okay, so this is what I have so far. It's like a brown smoky eyeliner. And then I'm basically just going to add some purple shimmer on the insides of my eye. I'm going to put down a wee bit of lighter shadow just on the inside just to lighten up a wee bit before I do that though. And I'm just going to do a wee light layer of this shimmer. Just a light wee gleam of purple. And then I'm going to start on my face. I feel like my skin looks awful right now. I don't think it looks that bad in real life, but in camera I'm like, <laughs> looks scary. Yep. How's everyone feeling about summer ending, personally? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it, I can't lie to you. The idea of it getting dark again, I mean it's already getting dark at like 7 o'clock, but the idea of it getting dark again at like 4, it just makes me, like I can't even get excited for like other things that happen in the winter time. I'm just upset that it's not summer anymore. <sighs> I think something I need to work on is setting aside me time. I have realised in the last couple of weeks that I will always say yes to plans because I obviously want to do things and make time for people that I care about and you know do all these things but the result is the weeks all kind of melt together and time just escapes me so I really need to stop doing that and it's not because I don't want to see these people and do these things and follow through with these plans but it's just because I can't neglect me so it's not a new year's resolution because it's not the new year but it's gonna be my next thing to work on I think I was spoilt in lockdown where you're just kind of getting unlimited me time for quite a long time and that's how I got really consistent with posting videos and editing them and getting them out really quickly whereas now I've kind of slipped into this like habit of leaving them for ages before I edit them or I mean I guess a few of them like the last few have taken a bit longer and the one that I'm working on now has taken a bit longer for technical reasons not even just all editing it completely deleted itself so that was fun but I do need to set aside time to do these things because they don't get done otherwise obviously and I enjoy doing them so I would like to keep it up tonight I'm going to Sugo which if you live in Glasgow which if you're well I don't know I always think the people that watch these videos are people that I know but maybe not if you live in Glasgow I'm sure you've been to Sugo. If you haven't, you've probably heard about it. I go, it, it's basically a monthly occurrence. I just, there's something about it. There's something about it that I just love. And the pasta is always amazing. And the bread, the bread at the start is what makes the entire experience. And I got an email recently saying that they've started doing the aubergine pasta, which I'm a big fan of aubergine, so I'm heading out today to give it a try. What else could I really ask for? Coming up to Halloween, I have quite a few ideas for some looks to do. I have like maybe four or five, I think. Not all solid. I need to like think out what I want to do most and when I'm going to do them and stuff like that. But I'm quite excited. I do get quite excited for Halloween. Hopefully, if I get that me time, then I will get these things out to you. Oh yeah, also since the last time I've seen you, I went to Ibiza. I went with Maddie and it was amazing. And... It wasn't even that long ago and it feels like a lifetime ago. I miss it so much. We had such a nice hotel room. We went out for dinner. It was lovely. So sad.
now I'm moving on to lips I recently started doing this trick I don't know, I must have seen it somewhere because maybe I didn't but I'm sure I did okay I'll try and figure out where I found it and reference that but you use brown to line your lip and then you use a little bit of red liner to kind of blend it in and then use a red lipstick and it makes it look like a natural red lip instead of like a sometimes you want a bold red and then sometimes you want like a wearable red and I feel like this makes it so wearable just watch okay also I feel like I'm losing my voice I don't know what's going on but sorry about that I didn't realize until I started recording Really see that. And then to finish it off, I add a bit of clear gloss. It just and now we're done and I can go have my pasta. Thank you for watching. Do you think? I love this. I love like the eyes are they have a bit of colour but they're not too much and the lips are like just they're wearable but they I feel like the gloss adds the but before the gloss like that's extremely wearable and you can add more brown or more red depending on what you think suits you better or what the occasion is so yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it remember to like and subscribe i will see you in the next one